The Kuzurigama, more widely known as the Chain and Sickle, or simply as Chain Sickle. The Chain Sickle was an old Japanese martial arts weapon. Originating from the Muromachi period, roughly from the 12th century. At first, its inception was the result of the combination of a simple weighted chain weapon, known in Japanese as Kasari Fundo, with a simple farmer's sickle. This gave birth to the Kuzurigama, which turned out to be a wildly inconvenient weapon. You see, on the old field of battle, things can get extremely hectic, where it even becomes difficult to differentiate friend from foe, and having a soldier swinging a massive and surprisingly swift sickle chained up with an iron weight ends up posing as a lethal danger for all parties involved. Furthermore, unlike all old war weapons such as swords, spears, axes and bows, the chain sickle is the most complex to use, requiring countless years of training in the unique Kuzurigama Jutsu, which consequently means that the individual would also be required to specialize in one of the following schools of martial arts, Kenjutsu, Jiu-Jitsu and Najinata Jutsu, as all of them had their own special twist on how to use the convoluted chain sickle. In summary, all of this meant that it would take too long and be too expensive to train the average Japanese foot soldier to use the chain sickle. Other than that, it has also been proven that even when in the hands of a true master, the chain sickle becomes absolutely useless in narrow spaces. As during the Edo period of 17th century Japan, a man by the name of Yamada Shinryuken rise to becoming a great and renowned teacher and master of the chain sickle by defeating many other equally renowned warriors. However, a master of Kenjutsu by the name of Araki Matiman challenged Yamada to a duel. During the duel, Araki tricked Yamada into a thick bamboo grove. With little to no room to swing the chain of the Kuzurigama, Yamada was swiftly cut down by Araki. Ultimately, the chain sickle was seen as a truly redundant weapon and rarely saw use in the fields of both wars and duels. However, it has been theorized by the Japanese researcher, writer, historian and martial artist Nawa Yumio that the invention and use of the chain sickle was actually due to the fact that the unsheathing of swords was forbidden on castle grounds, therefore, and as a way of keeping to the code or honoring the tradition, the samurai guarding the castle would use the chain sickle instead when facing invading soldiers or assassins. Master Yumio also speculated that the chain sickle was carried by warriors as a secondary weapon, thanks to its light weight and compact size. But it is important to note that at the end of the day these all remain as theories. In the modern day, the chain sickle found its place in a number of mainstream media. The most well known of which is in the hands of Shishido Baiken in a manga known as Vagabond. It also appeared with Hanzo the Salamander in the Naruto series. It was also a valuable as a usable weapon in a number of different video games. The most apparent of which are the Ninja Gaiden series and the Nioh series. That's about it for this one. If you have any other cool facts about the chain sickle or would like me to make a similar video about another specific weapon then please comment down below. I hope you found this insightful and as always, have a good day.